across this bridge. I hope everybody's having a blessed Tuesday. Oh, wow. A good party. All right, guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Yes, Mother's House. It's on. <laughs> it got on. What you call it? It's on fleet. <laughs> Back up. <It's> a... <laughs> Woo! I'm doing a commercial with that hair. Be there on Sassoon. <laughs> Cause you look a mess, boo. I see Selena is trending. Alexis is pregnant and she is not having a good pregnancy. This morning, all over the shade room, all I see posted is you could be pregnant by somebody and not, you just gotta go so you can block traffic, huh? You could be pregnant by somebody and not be in a relationship, not be happy. Y'all Fetty Wap and these girls and this concubine. Y'all, what's going on? What What's the tea? Why is these young ladies putting themselves in this type of predicament just to say, that's my baby daddy? Helpful, if you think you're going in front of me, we're going to fight today. You go, then it's my turn, okay? Y'all doing team too much over here on 215, okay? But, um... I'm like, you know what, Mona? I need for you to do better with these storylines with these girls all running up and behind one man. We not on a drum line. We not doing one man, one sound. We not on drum line, Mona. If you, Mona. <laughs> As Alexander Rogers say, Mona nigga Scott. If you don't come better than that, and you know what, guys? If they don't do better with Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, I would not be even be watching it. It was really boring. It was not good. Hey, I had my lashes did by somebody else this time, and uh, I spent a pretty penny on these lashes. I go for a feel this week. If this heifer don't do my lashes the way I like it, honey, that's one thing about that green stuff. It's been anywhere. Quit telling me what you can't do, because I seen you do it on somebody else, boo. Yeah, y'all be looking at that watch. 200, 200, 200, 150. Uh, I'm trying to get the next one. It's okay to get the next one in, but do your work right. You want the people to come back. And when you're spending 150, I want my shit to look right, you know. 
I'm investing in myself. <laughs> Y'all miss Tiki crazy. Y'all, my eyes are just, I'm trying to wear makeup and my allergies is on a mission. <laughs> Yesterday they were running like a faucet. I done doubled up on Zyrtex, Allegra, Full Nays, whatever's blooming. Y'all, why do I got this music on? I'm tripping. Whatever's blooming, it has got my allergies on a mission. But uh, let me see. Back to, um, oh, and I guess y'all, Zell and Mr. Ray got into it. And I guess they say, Zell, what is your problem with him? You know, Nina want to know why you keep fat shaming, you know. That's all she talking about. Why you fat shaming? Why you fat shaming, Nina? I don't think he was doing it in a bad way. But if you that self-conscious about people and weight, that's a personal issue. You need to go and get that weight off of you, boo-boo. That's a personal issue. The mouth speaks what's on the heart. And that's all she talked about was why you fat shaming. Weight this, weight that, fat this, fat that. So Zell went on uh, social media and said, "Why you basically, why you worried about us? Your man, husband, whoever. I went and had two kids on you and woo, woo, woo. But I'm like, ooh. I say, Zell, you know you out of line. And I guess Hazel Lee was showing out so bad uh, when Masika was on stage. But Masika was disrespecting her too. I don't like the way she called her he and Nasal League and I don't like that shit. I wish they could really go one on one and meet up and Hazel take your wig off. Beat Masika motherfucking ass. Excuse my French y'all. I don't like Masika this season. When she had the baby by Fetty, she was taunting Alexis. It was all good. She was the baby mama of the year. But last night, you want to talk about, oh, it was several of us pregnant. And you targeted me because I was on TV. No, bitch. She targeted you because in her relationship with Betty, and I think they were in a really nice relationship because he had her posted everywhere. He loved him some Alexis. But they did break up. While he, they broke up, I guess he done went and made two more babies. But you didn't hear from me because I ain't the one to gossip. Yeah. But Masika... And she talked about she was pregnant and they fat shamed her and woo woo woo. My seeker, you always somewhere trying to read. Yeah, I give it to you. You shady, bitch. You shady, but you out of fucking line. And uh, Alexa stayed in the back because she didn't want nobody. Y'all, she is so happy about being pregnant. But pregnant, but I don't get this with Alexis. Y'all, I'm not defending her actions neither. Because her storyline was chasing Masika around. And uh, I guess you got to do what you got to do to be on TV, y'all. It's so much we know that's scripted and so much that's not. Nobody know what's going on. But my thing with Alexis, because they had her garden in the back. You that happy that you're pregnant by a young man? He has not even came out publicly and claimed your child. I'm watching this too. That's kind of shady. Betty, why you ain't came out to say, yeah, that's my baby. Because last night, Luda Lucci, so Lucci, uh, I don't know what that thing is. That dude look, that thing look weird. Excuse me, Lord. I ain't mean to say. He look weird, y'all. Solo Lucci or whatever his name, Gucci. He ain't Gucci because we got a Gucci man. He get ready to get married. Him and Keisha. And, uh, okay supposed to be a love story he went to jail he left us some money she flipped and made a million dollars she stuck by him and he got out he married her okay okay we hope it stay like that okay but anyway y'all they got the main event coming on whenever y'all may get this it probably have, had would have been aired already Ugh, y'all i'm on so much allergy medication but uh anyway Y'all hit me down in the comments. What do y'all think about this Gucci man, Akisha? Y'all keep up with Tiki this morning. Tiki everywhere. I'm everywhere. I'm just discussing stuff this morning, okay? But um, Alexis Garden is little bit deceived. She doing an ultrasound every week, posting it. Because her mama is an ultrasound tech. Beautiful mother. And it look like she's mixed too. Alexis is a beautiful girl. And um, 
Masika got a beautiful daughter. But I think Masika is so pissed off with Hazel because Hazel told that story about that baby coming across that Xanax or that pain pill or something. And, uh, you know, Masika catching the case. Masika, what are you mad at Hazel for? You need to be mad at your damn self, okay? And ain't nobody, she always say, y'all always want to put down Fetty. You had one up on Alexis when you were the baby mama. She was just an imaginary girlfriend, as you say. Now, she having a baby by Fetty. You ain't got one up on her. So, I, you know, and I was happy Alexis had went on and didn't join the baby mama club. I was so happy. But, you know, she loved him, man. Who am I to judge? We all done done it before in life. You love someone, you know, it is what it is. I'm not here to tell nobody what to do and what not to do. It is what it is, you know, just, you know, she'll be a good mom and like her mother got her back. Cause I know I got my daughter and my son back. So that baby will be okay. And uh, I just want Masika and her smart ass mouth. I just want one of them to run up on her, y'all. Excuse the hood in me. But she need a good ass whooping with that old fucked up ass hairdo she had last night. You could have went to the beauty supply store over here and got you a $10 synthetic ponytail. Swoop that shit back and put some uh, pre-cut gel on your motherfucking edges. I'm pissed off with you and that goddamn wig ponytail. You look a hot mess, uh, Masika. Mm -mm -mm. You look a fucking mess, y'all. And they say uh, the the dude that miss uh, what's her name, Cardi B. You know who I am. You know where I be. <laughs> if I don't speak to you, that me, I don't fuck with you. <laughs> ah, that's my motherfucking lie right there. If I don't speak to you, that mean I don't fuck with you. So if I walk past you and I don't say nothing, take it. I don't fuck with you. I don't. I ain't got time to be sitting around pattying with a person. I don't do that. If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. <laughs> Excuse me, please, and thank you. Remember that? Remember that? And that'll take you a long way in life. But Miss Cardi B X that got out of the penitentiary and Y'all hit me down in the comments. Do y'all think she gonna be heading back? Or do y'all think she gonna stay with Offset? But uh, you guys ought to smoke long enough on this video. And uh, basically it's been about Love & Hip Hop reunion. I didn't even talk about what the clothes look like because I couldn't even pay attention to the